And he will have more on the parade's impact and history across Huntsville tonight at 9. As we brace for a round of weekend storms, staying prepared could be the difference between life and death. One of the most recognizable warnings we have is the tornado siren, but how exactly do they work? And what other steps should you take to be storm ready? Our Ken McCoy has more on why a plan is necessary. As severe weather approaches the area this weekend, local officials are gearing up with essential weather preparations. That includes the use of tornado sirens. These sirens are essential in helping people find shelter quickly, but experts say it's not the only way to stay prepared. It's a sound you never want to hear, but it could save your life. Madison County Emergency Management Director Jeff Birdwell says tornado sirens are designed to alert people who are outdoors. They're really only meant to be heard outside. Uh, you, you know, we, we, we get questions a lot of times, well, I didn't hear the siren. Well, were you inside your house? Well, that may be the problem. Birdwell says there are plenty of sirens all over the county, and there's a special system in place to trigger an alert when needed. We have a system that is uh, based off the polygon that the National Weather Service issued. Um, in other words, when uh, they issue that polygon, we actually receive it here in, in our emergency operations center and only the sirens that are located in that polygon are activated. Sirens are just one layer of a much bigger storm preparedness plan. That's why the Madison County EMA recommends multiple ways to receive alerts. While it is what I would call a tool in the toolbox, it's not one that you rely on solely. We, we recommend having multiple avenues of receiving weather information. There's all kinds of apps. There's NOAA weather radio. Of course, there's news media as well. As storms are expected to reach the area in the next few days, now is the time to make a plan. Now's the time to get your plan together, what, what you're going to do. Uh, if you are going to go to a shelter, go ahead and make a phone call or get information on when they open up. Uh, some are pet friendly, some are not. Mm -hmm. So already get that information and ha have that there with you. Uh, also, don't wait till a tornado warning is issued to seek shelter. It's, it's too late at that point. A list of shelters can be found on our website at fox54.com. In Madison County, Kim McCoy, Fox 54 News.